Yo, it's your boy, my makes money, and today I'm going to try to explain to you how you can start playing Axie Infinity. And if you don't have any money at all to invest in the game, a good way to try to start playing the game is to get a scholarship program. But there is a lot of competition for scholarships. A lot of people just ask me in my DMs or just a message in my comments just asking for scholarships. Um, honestly, it's not the best way, especially just because I don't have a lot of Axies right now. I'm, sh I'm still trying to get as many as I can and then hopefully turn this into a passive investment. But today I'm going to um, uh, just tell you which is my idea of the best way to get into Axie Infinity. And I'm going to tell you right now, none of this is going to be financial advice. And if you want to get into this game, it's going to be expensive, but only invest what you're willing to lose. And honestly, in my opinion, this is probably one of the best investments of our generation, in my opinion, because it's a video game that you can make money from. And starting out, you're going to want to get um, a plant because everybody has a plant. And worst case scenario, you can always try to sell it if you don't need it. And it depends on why you want to get into Axie Infinity. Do you want to play this game to make money or do you want to play um, buy Axies and sell them? Because one way you can make money in this game is by actually going against online competitors, um, people that uh, other people that have their own Axies and you can battle them and then make money that way i'm probably make around 15 dollars a day depending on uh how much uh slp i make it depends on how many wins i get and i wouldn't say that's bad because that return on investment it depends on how much you uh you buy your axes but the more you pay most likely as long as you get a good axe um the faster you're gonna get your money back depending just because hopefully you learn how to play the game but as a beginner, what I got into when I got into Axie Infinity, I didn't know what I was doing. I just picked the best Axie that looked the coolest. And right now in the market, what you want to get is the Freak Axie extension. And this really helps you see if you want to get into breeding. And if you want to get into breeding, that's a good, another good way. Hopefully, I can make around $200 a week. Um... I did make a video on talking about that, so if you want to check it out, just check out my channel. But I'm definitely going to be posting more um, updates on how, how much money I make. And right now, I'm just looking at the cars because the first axe you want to get is most likely a plant. Um, there's not, um, Plants are like the go-to. It's, it's, uh, it's basically the thing that everybody has. And for me personally... A good way to start uh, finding cars is by going to the Pyrrhus and get the Freak Axie extension because if you want to get into breeding or you just want to have a good plant card, um, there could be some really, that's how you filter out the best cards. Um, this one is very cheap just because you're not going to be able to breed it, breed with it because it's going to be so expensive unless you're willing to invest that much amount of money. Uh, 120 SOP is uh, close to $300 and you're going to have to spend another uh, 60 times 4, 250. So you're going to have to spend maybe at, uh, at most $700 just because you have to include gas fees and they can get pretty expensive. So if you wanted, you would have to spend about, about 400 plus 700 and you have to get another Axie just to breed it. But um, in my opinion, get breeding is a whole different story. I think it's better just to play the game. Um, definitely these do have resale value, and I would probably get. I would tell someone that I know personally probably to get these, unless I was gonna tell them to breed them. Um, and they they most likely have good plant cards. And amazing card right here, basically it's gonna help you gain energy against aquas gonna be able to heal heal itself again heal your teammate and then um it says cannot be targeted by aquatic cards if this actually has teammates remaining which is just pretty interesting a uh, pretty interesting choice of cards i mean they're all random but the second actually i'll probably get is aquatic i actually run an entire aquatic team and the reason why it's like this is that I put the pureness all, all the way to six. Um, you can definitely lower it and probably get cheaper axes that, that might have alright cards. 
But well, if you do lower it, you're probably gonna get something like this. This actually definitely has probably good cards, but they're not aqua at all. They're um all bird bird cards. Oh, actually has one aqua card, then another grass card. Um, it's not really that good to get uh mix and match, just because um usually I do focus on breeding, and that's how I do look at the axes, unless you know what you want. But definitely, most likely, you just had to go for the one that has the the most specific cards for its uh, character. So if you have an Aqua, try to get some Aqua cards unless you know what you're doing with the with the cards. And the second, a uh, third um uh, one I might say is to get either a beast or a bird. Most people run the bird, but um I kind of like the beast just because they have a mate. If you know the cards to get, you can get guaranteed critical strikes and almost take out an entire plant. Definitely, um, this is going to be your back line. Uh, if you're running the plant aqua beast build, but most people either run, either have the plant beast bird, plant beast aqua, or plant double aqua. And now the meta is changing to reptile, but I'm not going to suggest anybody to get a reptile, mostly just because I haven't used a reptile and I haven't seen enough people start to run a reptile, but I know they're going to be the new meta, which is why I want to get some later in the future and start breeding them just because they seem overpowered. I went against the aqua and I lost horribly. So hopefully this uh, gave, you, gave you a better understanding of which axes to get. And peace is your boy, my mixed money.